Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Revell California Wheels Series 1949 Mercury Wagon. It's a 125 scale kit and model number 85-4996. It's a skill level 3 kit for the advanced builder and comes with 135 parts molded in white, clear, chrome and with vinyl tires. It's about eight and a half inches long, three inches wide, and two and three quarter inches when built. And at first glance, it is a beautiful kit. Crisply detailed and nice. It's a new mold a couple years ago, and it's got some parts from the original 49 Mercury Custom that was released back in the day. The motor has 24 parts. It's nicely detailed. It's the same caddy motor from the 49 Custom kit and the chassis is molded in completely individual sections and it's very impressive. The interior is likewise detailed and has all the fine dash details and as decals. The body's one piece, separate hood, and it's pretty straight and well defined. There's a few mold lines on the body, but uh, they're pretty light and easy to remove. The wood panels are handled as decals, and I think that's a plus because they look very realistic. The paint colors are standard issue that you would have on hand, and it's another nice release so if you want a good quality kit for your display put one on your shelf. Here are the kit's contents and my version of the open box review. I could pick up each sprue and part and talk about it but after all there they all are and they came out of the box. So here's your open box review in 15 seconds or less. Here are the decals for this kit. As you can see they're very colorful and the registry is good. I strongly recommend using some decal setting solution to make it fit those contours. But as always, use the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines when using any of the products mentioned here in the review for your own protection. For most of the construction, I use Model Master liquid cement and sometimes a slow setting tube glue. But other adhesives are used too for strength like super glue and white glue for clear parts. Mostly the paints are Tamiya acrylic bottle paints that are shot through an airbrush or rattle can paints that can be used for things like primers. Construction starts with the motor, so grab these parts from the kit and we'll assemble the block first. First put the block halves together and attach the heads to that, also the oil pan and then the transmission pan to the transmission. Then attach the valley pan to the center of the block on top and paint the motor a flat OD green and the transmission silver. Paint the oil filter tube flat OD green and the cap is black. Then the distributor cap is tan and a steel shaft. Now paint the starter black with a gold tint for the solenoid and the carbs the same gold tint. Now paint the intake flat OD green and the coil black with a silver band. And then paint the exhaust manifolds steel and paint the water pump silver. The generator is silver too and the, and the fan belt is flat black and the fan is, is gloss black. Now with the earlier assembled motor, add the oil filler tube on the front of the valley pan and the distributor to the back. Then attach the chrome valve covers to the heads. Add the starter to the left side. And on the carbs, attach the chrome breathers and attach the assembly to the intake manifold. Now attach the coil to the intake manifold and attach that assembly to the top of the motor. Attach the water pump to the front of the motor and the fan belt is get, uh, gets attached with the generator and the fan and then attach that whole assembly to the water pump. Now attach the exhaust manifolds to the heads and that completes your motor assembly. This is a really nice looking motor and some wires would make it look uh, outstanding. Gather these parts to install the motor and start the frame assembly. First the frame goes together in multiple steps. You paint the frame rails a flat black and then paint the power steering box and the master cylinder uh, semi-gloss black. The sway bar is semi-gloss black and the mounts are flat black. Now paint the A-arm semi-gloss black and assembly uh, goes as this. Uh, attach the power steering box on the driver's side frame rail and the master cylinder behind that. Now attach the A-arms and install the motor. On the underside uh, attach the sway bars. Get these parts out for the underside and the front suspension. Now for some contrast um, we'll paint the suspension and stuff in stages, but paint the lower 
A arms are gloss black and the center mount and the axle mount areas are flat black and paint the tie rods silver. Paint the exhaust pipes steel and the mufflers red and paint the frame cross member flat black too. Also uh, the springs are flat black and the coils though are steel uh, highlighted on the uh, uh, springs themselves. So mount the springs into the frame and the suspension unit onto the springs. Then attach the exhaust pipe end to the manifold and then the longer pipe to the muffler. Um, now there's a mount, uh, mounting pin there. It's a positive uh, mounting point on the rear frame cross rail for that. And super glue the metal exhaust tips to the ends of the pipes. Then attach the lower frame cross member to the frame. Gather the parts for the rear suspension and we'll paint that as a unit. So attach the axle top uh, and the shock purchase to the axle and then paint that unit black and paint the shocks uh, yellow. Paint the drive shaft gray or steel color then insert the drive shaft into the transmission attach the leaf springs onto the frame inserting the drive shaft into the axle and then attach the shocks to the frame and the leaf springs. Here's a close-up of the front suspension and you can see the color variation there it really brings that uh, undercarriage to life and uh, here of course is also the rear suspension uh, with the shocks uh, uh, standing out. Grab the parts uh, to assemble the wheels and the brakes that go in between them and uh, this shows the tires ready to assemble on the chassis so paint the wheel backs uh, and brakes flat black and to give the tires a worn road uh, look take and press the uh, tread onto a sheet of 220 or finer uh, sandpaper and then just roll that across uh, to give them a used look. Now insert the white wall tire side uh, into the tire. Do that for all four of the assemblies and insert the hub caps into the front of the tires and then insert a metal pin into the wheel backs and the wheel backs into the back of the tire. Uh, for all four units. Now slide the brakes onto the pins and super glue them. Just the pins uh, there so uh, the tire will rotate in the axle holes on the chassis. Grab these parts for the interior tub, um, the seats in the rear floorboards and then install the rear floorboard to the interior tub and paint the tub flat black on both sides. Then paint the gas tank aluminum and the battery gloss black with steel terminals. Paint the air tubes steel and the oil filter gold but leave the cover a chrome color. Now paint the pedals black and paint the firewall flat black on the interior side and body color on the motor side. Then detail the wires on the firewall with uh, black or silver sharpies and attach the front and rear seat backs to the seat fronts. Paint the seats flat black or whatever your interior color choice is. With the firewall detailed, attach the air tubes to the firewall, then attach the oil filter to the firewall. Now attach the firewall to the interior tub. Attach the pedals to the floorboard and attach the front and rear seats in place onto the floorboard interior. Find the decals in the dashboard and then paint the dash uh, a body color and the lower half of the dash and around the instruments is a wood panel, so paint that light brown and add the decals per the uh, decal gauge map here and detail the knobs with some silver and the panel inside the radio silver. Now all the instrument dials have silver bezels and the radio is black. Get these interior parts out now and paint all of the parts body color and on the steering wheel detail the horn ring with some silver and leave the center cap body color. On the column paint the shifter silver and on the side panels paint the cranks and handle silver along and the armrest silver with pads that match your seat colors. So along the top side of the side panels paint that strip light brown. And on the back corner of the side panels paint the rear door hinges silver. On the rear door panel paint the strip at the top light brown and the handle silver. Then use decals 25 to 30 and install the wood paneling on the back door panel. Here's an overhead view of the interior showing the color variation. Now glue the dash into the slots on the side panels and slide the panel fronts into the notches on the firewall. Then glue the panels along the bottom of the floor pan and glue the back door panel to the back of the side panels. Now glue the steering wheel to the column and slide that into the hole in the dash and glue the column in from the back side with just a dab of glue which will hold it in place. Gather the radiator and engine bay parts and um, we'll 
it requires the chassis to be mated to the interior so we'll assemble the radiator core and the radiator wall and then attach the radiator top to that then paint the assembly flat black and the radiator core aluminum on both sides and paint the two horns and the radiator hose black for some detail paint the radiator cap on top of the radiator gold color the interior tub and chassis need to be assembled before you can install the radiator so line up the chassis and slide the motor into the fender wells and then uh, put some glue along the frame rails to hold it all together and make sure that it fits tightly this shows the uh, alignment for the undercar area and you'll notice that from the side view it's uh, made it to the chassis and interior with a pretty snug fit so um, the motors are tight fit too so watch the generator when you install it so you don't break that off when sliding it into place now uh, there's a notch in the fender well that it sits in so line that up uh, as you install it now glue the horns to the front of the radiator and uh, slide the radiator into the slots on the fender wells and glue the radiator hose to the water pump and radiator. This completes the chassis and interior subassembly and now you have a, a rolling chassis to work with. Now we'll work on the body and uh, there's going to be some old lines and things that you need to address so right here we show the, uh, the fenders and the mold lines are on both sides of that and it's easy to remove them just uh, use some light sandpaper and then uh, the rear corner near the roof again uh, a minor mold line there and also the lower fender rear quarter uh, near the bumper uh, sand those mold lines off on both sides where the hood makes a bend there um, there's a mold line that goes straight across so sand that off if you want to install the optional uh, front visor drill out the two holes on the on the upper roof near the top of the windshield now that you've taken care of the blemishes, um, grab all the parts that need to be painted body colors as shown here. And uh, it's going to be painted a two-tone in this case, so the wood paneling will be done in one color and the rest will be a body color. So sand between coats uh, to make sure that the paint sticks well. And we're going to use uh, some good materials uh, like a 3M fine line uh, tape for lines and uh, the plastic tape uh, just basically for um, one-to-one um, -one painting but that uh, works real well here for models and a low tack masking tape for the rest of the masking work prime the inside and the outside of the uh, body and all the parts that uh, are on the sprue that need need to be attached to the body so that they didn't get damaged later I used uh, some masking tape to cover up the primary areas that will be body color and then sprayed some tan on uh, to the area for the wood paneling uh, with a rattle can a tan paint uh, so uh, now I'll go back and tape the panel lines off that were painted and then we'll go to the next color now we'll tape off the um, the panel line areas with some of the fine line tape and then use some of that green scotch 223 masking tape for the um, larger areas now after letting the base color cure for about 15 minutes, you know, I untape the whole thing. And the longer you let the tape set on fresh paint, the more chance you have of damaging it, especially like on enamels. So you want to take it off uh, right away uh, as soon as the paint starts to set up. Then go back up uh, to the body and do any touch-ups that you think that might be necessary. After the paint has had time to cure, uh, it's time to put decals on the kit. I would start with the uh, wood paneling insets. Uh, there and uh, I would strongly recommend the use of some uh, setting solutions that are available on the market to uh, make those uh, adhere to the contours and stick onto the body. I highlighted the chrome trim on the body with uh, a foil product. Uh, it's got an adhesive on the back and then uh, you just uh, stick it on, burnish it down and then trim off the excess with a sharp hobby knife. Get out the clear parts that need to be installed but first um, we're going to need to detail it the vent windows need silver trim painted around them uh, and the side windows have a trim strip on the back that's painted silver and the windshield needs to have the visors painted interior color and the trim on that silver as well paint the inside of the roof your interior color and then run a bead of white glue around the uh, edge of each glass piece and then set it in place to secure it um, I always let the windows cure before doing the next one because 
they they will fall out easy with uh, the glue that is not so uh, tacky. So from the inside, place the front windshield in place and it fits snug and snaps in. Then glue the rear view mirror in place on that and the dome light to the ceiling. Install the wing glass to the front corners of the window and then install the side glass one at a time with the silver molding going to the outside. Now install the back glass and after all the glass is set in place and dried, um, any glue that's extra can be you know just rubbed off with a toothpick. So clean the windows inside and out to remove any fingerprints. Now we need to mate the body to the chassis. So from an angle, slide the front of the chassis slowly into the body and when it's fully forward, slide the chassis down inside. Uh, just spread the, um, the side walls out a little bit and use a ruler to shoehorn the fenders uh, into place. Uh, and then the body will slide pretty easily on onto it and there's really no need for glue as it's a snug fit. I'll get out the parts uh, for the front end and I painted the grill with um, a 50-50 mixture of uh, thinner and flat black into the recesses um, and then rub the paint off the raised grill parts. Now attach the chrome light bezels into the holes on the fender and attach the chrome marker lights into their hole in the fender and using some clear parts uh, cement or white glue uh, put a dab of glue in the marker lamp bezels and attach the clear lenses into them. Run a bead of the cement around the uh, headlight bezel and then attach the clear lenses into those as well. Attach the grill uh, into the front of the car and then uh, install the bumper onto the front of the car too. Get the parts out for the visor if you intend to install that. And then on the visor attach the mounts to the side. Line up the visor uh, with the holes in the roof and glue that into place. These are the parts that you'll need to assemble the rear end. So paint the tail lights uh, stoplight red and then attach the tail lights to the tail light mounts and uh, install those assemblies to the rear door in the holes and attach the rear door handle and the gas cap. Now attach the license plate frame to the driver's side rear light mount and then attach the bumper and uh, center the hub cap so that uh, the writing is upright on the rear tire mount uh, and then attach it uh, to the tab in the back of the door. It just sits on the locating tab there so you have to center and hold it level until it uh, the glue cures and keeps it in place. Gather up the final detail parts for assembly for the model. On the hood, mount the hood emblem, then put the hood onto the car, attach the wipers to the holes in the cowl, and on both sides attach the door handles. If you use the original mirror, uh, attach the mirror to the mount and then attach that to the driver's door. And cut out the license plates and glue one to the front bumper and one onto the rear rear bumper. Just cut those out, don't, um, don't use them as decals and then glue them in place with some white glue. You'll have just a couple of pieces uh, left over along with the decals from your build. There you have it. This is a great rendition of the um, early station wagons which were basically invented to take people from resorts and hotels back to the train station. But then they started uh, finding their way into cab fleets and then they became a staple part of uh, American uh, automotive culture. Now, there's just a couple things uh, about the kit. You know, it uh, was pretty straight, uh, flash-free, except for some minor stuff. The decals are great, and the chrome was nice. Um, but I think a stock motor would have been a nice feature here, as opposed to a pretty, uh, pretty hepped-up one. Now, there were additional goodies that could have been added, like a, like a surfboard, and roof rack, you know, some luggage maybe. But uh, those are things you get to add on your own, I guess. So the overall build is solid. You get the feeling that uh, you put this on the shelf, it will, it will not uh, fall apart on you. It's an enjoyable build with a great looking finish of a, a really uh, a great subject matter kit. So uh, I recommend this one for just about anyone um, uh, uh, that has some advanced skills because um, there, there's some pretty intricate stuff, especially with the side panel decals. We hope you like this premium quality step-by-step -step review, and so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can find us on Facebook, and also at our website, www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks!